It's time for part three. And I gotta say, I'm pretty chuffed overall that we're here already, but the progress, it's, it's weird from now, not so much now, but when you get the helmet key and you go back and the hunters are everywhere, from there up until the end of the caves, it seems to take an absolute shit ton of time. Whoa, okay. Off with your head, pal. More shotties, please. Yeah, it's by far the hardest part of the game. Even when you're playing as Jill, but obviously needless to say when you're playing as Chris. Yes, another small key. Okay, let's do this shit, people. Here's the infamous red book. What's in here? The bathtub. This might be a meme bathtub with nothing in it, but I've got to check because I can't quite fully remember. box of that. The control room key. That's to get us lower into the sewers. And I'm just thinking, the red book can go in the inventory, but do I need the small key? Look at the size of that little door, man. That's a dinky little door. Should, well, you know what? I think I'm going to keep the small key. There's a herb. Knowing where the herbs are coming up helps because I can be like, right, well, I know the sharks are coming up. It's Munker S, but yeah, there's a herb, so I'll be fine. And there's herbs ahead. See ya. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it ain't fun. I know it ain't. I know it ain't fun to watch. But I don't give a shit. I need these herbs. So what am I doing? I'm stocking them up because you might think right now, this man is insane. But we are going to take a lot of damage. <laughs> After the plant for 20 fight. Is that door locked? I think it is. Yep, back we go. My apologies. This is not an optimal speed room. Also, I just noticed before when we left this room, look, someone's put the statue slap bang in the middle again. Whoever did that, thank you very much. Awfully kind. Do you like my herbs, bro? I got herbs, bro. Motherfucking herbs, though, bro. I got herbs, though, bro. Or if you're American, herbs. Um, oh yeah, this is 002 key, isn't it? Don't tell Nicolas Cage, ladies and gentlemen. But it's the bees. Like I said... I'm relatively content and happy right now. I'm comfortable, mostly. 
I'm a bit nervous about the Plant 420 boss, but obviously I will be making a save just before then. But after then, I'm not content one little bit until we get to the lab. Because that part of the game is balls hard. Um, clip, you know what? See you, mate. I'll come back if I want it. More shot is. Can't even tell you how glad I am. <laughs> That's just a delight. Uh, I don't know why I'm taking the map. I'm scared. I'm taking it. It's just a sketched map. <laughs> So, I heard you like moving boxes, bro. I'm gonna put the shotty away here. Just because I feel faster. I still don't know if you are faster when you put the shotgun away. Kind of rem reminiscent of that theme that was just playing upstairs in a way. That constant. This feeling of complete insanity. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've been keeping on topic mostly for this playthrough. There's not much downtime in this game. And because it's tough playing as Chris, I've got to concentrate. But. I did speak about it recently. I spoke about it when I was reacting to all the utter shit. <sighs> the summer game fests and all those bullshit things. But also the project that I was working on before that. I can't remember what it was. Might have been during my Callisto Protocol contagion walkthrough. But where's the survival horror, guys? Where is the new survival horror? It looks like the mini renaissance is well and truly over. And we are not eating well. Two herbs, okay. Right, there'll be a clip, I think. Shotgun shells and a key item. We're nearly at plant 420. That door there behind us, that's where you destroy the roots, I think. The roots. Bloody roots. Now, I remember being surprised last time I played this game that there's no cutscene there, but that's just in the remake. But I'm sure I remember a cutscene in the original game, but no, it didn't happen. Motherfucking shark killers. Sharks, bees, crows. We're just killing all sorts of animals in the first couple of Resi games, weren't we, ladies and gentlemen? Didn't play Resident Evil Zero. We're fucking monkeys. Those monkeys, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my lord, what on God's green earth were they thinking of? They are bloody awful to fight. I like Rizzy Zero, and I stick up for it, because I think there's a lot of good aspects to the game, but I totally understand why casual players um, are not keen on it. It's very, very old school in its approach. I think that was released about, was it six months after the remake, I think it was. But they must have been working on it at the same time. Absolutely wonderful game, graphically. Birds repeating, ladies and gentlemen, six years between this and the remake. Unbelievable. And now, in 2017, Horizon Zero Dawn was released, and there's still rumours about this remake 
in a similar time frame from the first Resi to the remake. Can you see the difference in both games? And Christ almighty. This industry is foobar. Well over 50 shot is now. Can't even remember where we get the Magnum. Not gonna lie, I am scared. What is that on there? Is that Magnum Bullets? No, oh, it's a Plant 420 report. Well, Mr. Plant 420, we are gonna be fighting you, and I said it when I played this game as Jill. I am gonna just pop this guy's head off for the clip. Just for the YouTube content. But. Oh, a bit of his head just came towards the screen there. <laughs> nice. What was I saying? <laughs> Lost my train of thought. <laughs> you freaking two head. I'm a freaking two head, bruv. What really pisses me off playing as Chris in this game, though, is, like, now, for example, um,. I, I'm going here before I go back just so I can discard the freaking key and I know there's a door to the left and I want to check out what's in that room because I can't remember so now look discard it yes and then I have to go back and then I get the red book but what I really want to do is go back and forth back and forth take the red book and then go back again so I can have an extra spot in my inventory if you know what I mean it's so pedantic, this game. It's, it's so draconian and old school, man. And I bloody love it. I remember a long time ago, it was about 2015, 16. I remember playing a few times. Like I played the original game and then I tried. That's a small key, but I don't have another small key. Maybe the devs made it so you would miss one. That might have to go without being unlocked. I'm confident we'll be okay, but... Yeah, 2015-16. I remember playing Advanced as Chris and... Um, Very tough. Obviously, less ammo, zombies take more shots, although you can get random headshots, you know, where the head just blows off. That is so sick. The, the handgun feels better in the director's cut. And I think you still do get auto-aim, despite it being harder. But, um... It's a harder experience by far. And obviously, all the key items are in different places as well. So it hasn't been that long since my last save, but we have to save it again. And this is the part of the game now where I can't even lie. I'm getting nervous, more nervous than I should be. Because I know what's coming and get the popcorn out, get your Michael Jackson, Jackson gifts out because I'm telling you. Oh, I didn't actually save it a second time. Oops. <laughs> it's going to get emotional, people, trust me. Have we got over 100? Oh, we do. The book is out and three health items are out. We are already at full health. And this is exactly what I mean. For a big fight, look. I want to go back and take away the book and get another health item, but I'm not going to. But I'll tell you now, we will get damaged during the Plant 420 fight. I'm fighting with this fight, with the camera, and I'm fighting against the game. Um, and it's like that with the original game, more so than the others, in my opinion. No auto-aim as well, and there isn't always feedback when you're doing damage to Plant 420. Um... I find this quite tough. 
think last time. I got damaged a few times, but it was all right. We got it done. Just got to keep checking your health. Obviously, you don't limp in this game, so as soon as you get damaged, get on that motherfucking ECG, find out what's going on. V Jolt 420, blaze it, mate. Come on, let me through. Just save the game, so that's good. Four twenty, we meet again. <laughs> I wonder why the devs did call it Plant Forty Two. I don't know if the files in the game actually tell you. Boom. Whoa, what the fuck was that, you dickhead? Oh, what? We're on caution. Oh, Jesus. Oh. You're on a fucking wind up 42, mate. You're on a wind up, fella. There you go. That's the bullshit. Oh, it ain't going well. Suck it up, people. Let's go. Yeah, it ain't going well, is it? We're well, damaging him, though. What's he dropping from the sky? What is that? Bloody dandruff. Piss off, you dickhead. You're doing 42. Can I damage him here? Nope. That dandruff that falls from the sky, I'm, I promise you, it's harder to avoid than you think. It ain't easy to avoid. I thought I was ahead of the dandruff there, but it still got me. Fuck you, 42, you dickhead. Okay. Bit of an intense fight. The boss fights in this game are more intense than the games that come after it, in my opinion, but <laughs> it's not usually for a good reason. It's usually because of the complete and utter nonsense jank, the camera angles being shit, no auto aim, stuff like that. But uh, we've done it. I do wonder how much less ammo it would take if it did the V-Jot, but ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, never once have I done the V-Jot. And he ain't gonna start now. Wesker! Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We are still in trouble. Man's right. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. Yet again, the same kind of music. That... It's just a different instrument that's giving you that insane feel. Sounds like some kind of shit Boards of Canada would have done it. Nice is that. You've never heard of Boards of Canada, ladies and gentlemen? I want you to stop this video and get into those motherfuckers right now. The greatest to ever do it. And um, I'm thinking of doing a worst to best on the discography, but really, 
I don't think it's possible to do a worst to best on BRC because they're just the greatest and all four of their albums are astonishing in their own way. No, yeah, we've got a lot, <laughs> we've still got a lot of health items here. Now, I am putting everything back. We've got the shotty, we've got the helmet key. Second floor to the west side with Tupac and Dr. Motherfucking Dre. Side, that's where that door is, and the helmet key, the bottom, the ground floor to the east side with an old Taurus BIG and Nas. Um, that's a use there. Oh, and then a helmet key on the east side again, second floor. We want to use that last, I think, or do it? Does it matter? It doesn't really matter. The snake texture, though. Okay, now, this is where I'm huffing the copium, ladies and gentlemen. This is me. <sighs> I'm huffing the motherfucking copium, trying to cope, because this part of the game destroys me. It is hard, and I don't know best how to go about it. I'm scared, I'll be honest with you. I'm not even on green fine. I'm not taking any help because we've got herbs on the way back. Yes, we've got dogs, but I'm going to risk it. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to take a green herb, and if I need to just use it outright, we will. I'm also... My apologies, guys. But we're just going to get two blue herbs. Bring them with us. We do have the spider um, boss fight. He can poison you. He is a piece of shit. And it's like I said before, last time I died when I played as Chris, multiple times to the spider because if you don't use the flamethrower or the magnum, he's hard to kill. And there's a knife in that room. But here's the thing. If you've got max health, you can't just say, oh, I'm going to discard a health item. I'll get the knife. I'll open the door. It takes time. The spider is fast. Um, and I struggled to kill it with the bloody flamethrower as well. So I'm worried about that. They really went to town. I think with the amount of hunters I'm talking about here, I feel with a remake that the hunters are better balanced, if I'm being honest. Missing shots as well because there's no auto aim, man. That dog's disappeared, I think. Yeah. Are they blue herbs? Yeah, are they both blue? You cannot tell from that angle, man. I'm slightly colourblind, but... Yeah, they're both blue. Whoa! Oh! What he's saying. That's what I'm saying. Whoa. Snake. Tell you what, that Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, it looks very fearful. It looks very fearful to the original. When's that released? A couple of months. I always like to sound bite something, you know, talk about something that's going to happen soon because someone's going to watch this in the future and be like, oh yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. Someone's watching this in 2030. Oh, we're in trouble here, aren't we? Okay, okay. Yo, guys. These motherfuckers know nothing about my cheese. I'm coming back in. Yeah, ain't happy. <laughs> With all due respect, I don't give a shit. Now, I'm as good as certain 
I might be wrong. There's some massive Resident Evil fan now who may or may not have autism, ladies and gentlemen, who is currently screaming at the screen, telling me I'm wrong. But I don't think hunters can kill you when you're on fine, which is why I'm not going to heal yet. I probably shouldn't be taking two health items here, though. Because no. There's the door. The helmet key coming up. Now, Chris, he picks a radio up here. This this shocked me when I played this. I, I could not remember this cutscene at all. Maybe someone else watching this is going to get shocked as well. I could not believe this. And it doesn't end there, ladies and gentlemen. What? It must be a star's radio. It's a little bit broken, but it might still be usable. I'll take it with me. I couldn't remember that happening. And in a minute, when the hunters turn up, there's another little scene where Chris is talking about Rebecca and wondering whether she's safe. And I was shitting myself, because I thought I had fit save her. Because I remember that every single playthrough I do of the remake, I easily save Rebecca. But in my head, I remember saving her from under the stairs at the west side on the ground floor. But in the credits, it shows you saving her in the same place that you do the remake. Fucking hell, if this game wasn't confusing enough. But ladies and gentlemen, I can't go through the helmet key door unless I heal. There's magnum bullets in there in the wolf medal. I'm going to have to heal. A double heal. It might be a waste, but... Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, are you huffing the copium too? Come on, let's fucking have it. That little cutscene of Chris saying that you can get it in any of the rooms you go into. This room, or the room to my right, or the double doors if you keep walking ahead. Whichever the next room it is that you go into, he'll say it there. But did you see that? The swipe, because I couldn't quite get into the freaking room quick enough. Happens all the time with these pieces of shit. Now, I do think that Wesker has restocked us. I've only just recently saved the game. But I have the opportunity here of either going to the other side of the mansion now, using up the helmet key. There will be a few hunters in the midst of going there. I may as well, in my opinion, put the gun back, use the red jewel, get the CD-ROM, and then come back to here. The third usage of the helmet key will discard the key. And then I fight the snake. There's no point in fighting the snake now. Although if I did do that. My save is earlier. This is such a hard part of the game. I just feel that I'd be better off just having fucking six herbs in my inventory and nothing else. But I like to have the guns in my inventory. <laughs> Bloody hunters ruin this game. No they don't but they're terrifying and they hate them. Fuck off. Now, where's this guy now? Where is he? What should I do? Should I... Because the, the helmet key is in my inventory. I can't allow for an extra spot in my inventory right now. I think I'm going to put the shells back, the magnum bullets back. Obviously, the metal back. Get extra herbs and just make a fucking dash. Every room I'm in. Take damage. Heal. Take damage. Heal. And let's get to the other side of the mansion. Because once you fight the snake, you do come back up. It would be better to fight the snake now, but I don't want that helmet key in my inventory. These motherfucking hunters. 
They don't even know about my cheese, bro. No, I was going to go... I, the only reason I've come up these stairs now is to cheese him and then go back down and go into the, the room where Wesker's left the goodies. Obviously, I've already said I don't want to... I could just use the... Oh, there's a green herb actually beyond this hunter. I feel like unlocking the snake door with a helmet key and then going to the other side of the mansion and then coming back. Because like I keep saying, if I if I tried the snake now, I'm going to die. Because I know how bad that fight is and how bad I am at it. And uh, I kind of want a magnum as well. There's a green herb in the room where that hunter is. Or in front of him. Um... Yeah, but Alex, if you're going to fuck about with him, then you're going to fuck about with this guy as well. Man, I really want to watch someone play this game for the first time now and experience these pieces of shit for the first time. But in, in 2024, it ain't easy. Look at that. And he nearly swipes again. How can he swipe? I'm going on an Indian game show and asking, how can he swipe? How can he swipe? <laughs> Didn't even need to do that. Might have shot myself in the foot. I wonder how many different rooms the hunters are in that I don't usually go to. Always oh, behind me, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, keep up in the motherfucking copium. I think there's two hunters on the second floor. I want to go down here. We need that red gem. We need that red gem. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got to end the video here. I am going. I keep telling people this in every video to make a manual save state. That is just in case the emulator crashes. It's not a real save. Save state. Um, join me for part four. Keep huffing the corpium. I hope you've got enough. See you then.